This is Eugene Panrukovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Toshiba Satellite L645 laptop computer. Uh, this is a newer laptop with a 14-inch LED screen. It's a nice-looking laptop, so um, let's get this thing working again, and... All that good stuff. So, um, in order to replace a screen on this laptop computer, you have to remove the plastic frame around the screen and also, and then remove the screen itself. Now, in order to remove the plastic frame around the screen, you have to remove some screws. There's two on top and two on bottom. And in order to replace the screws, you have to remove the plastic screw covers that are on top. Now, uh, this room is a little bit cold this morning, so if you hear some teeth chattering, that would be me, so it's okay. It's Tucson, Arizona, so it will warm up soon. Okay, first, let's look at the tools we need. We need an X-Acto knife, and you probably guess from what I was about to do why we need that. We need an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a smaller PH0 bit and a pair of sharp little tweezers. So let's use our X-Acto knife to remove the plastic screw covers to expose the screws. One. Sometimes these are a bit tricky. Most of the time it's not too bad. Two. What I like to do with these screw covers is put them on the side next to, next to the screw holes so that we don't lose them later. And this one fell off, so we'll attach this one here. Okay, next we're going to use a PH1 bit with the screwdriver to remove the four screws and put them in their own separate pile. So each set of screws that you remove, keep them in a separate set of se separate pile so you can keep track of them. So there's three, and there's four. Okay, next we remove the plastic frame. Now this frame snaps into place. So what I like to do is take my fingertips from the screen side and gently lift up the plastic frame and listen for the snapping sounds. The snapping sounds are not the screen breaking, it's the screen snapping off from the, from the assembly, so that's good. Also, you hear some adhesive sounds. Sometimes there's some adhesive also, so just take your time on this. You will probably go slower than I will because I do this a lot. And now the only thing that's holding the screen is the hinge covers part. And that's where I like to use the tweezers to lift this part up. Like so. Let me see if it snaps out. Sometimes you kind of have to play around with it and, and eventually it will come out. And it came out in good shape and one piece. So that's good. We're going to put this plastic frame to the side now. Now what we need to do next is remove the screen from the metal mounting brackets on the side and the screws for the screen are usually on the side. So let's see if we can access the screws. On this one the screws are really easy to get to. There's two screws, one on top, one on the bottom. And remove these. Now sometimes the screws are hard to get to, so you have to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit. In this case, we don't really have to do it. So we remove the screws. Make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit when you do this, so that the screen doesn't fall forward. And uh, once again, once the screw is out, we use our metal tweezers to take the screw out and once again put it in a separate pile like so and 
Okay, so that's two. And we repeat the same thing on the other side. So two on each side. Okay, there. Just let's zoom in. Let's see. This nice camera that I have on my forehead, it's out of focus, so I have to show off its capabilities once in a while. I don't think it was designed to go on the forehead, but that's how I use it. Okay, so now we removed the screws on each side and we tilt the screen assembly, or not the screen assembly, the screen forward like this and see what's going on here and what we have here is a LED screen and we only have to remove one connector and that connector is, and the cable itself is held down by some adhesive tape which we gently lift up like so and also typically the cable is held down by some adhesive also what we're gonna do is free up the cable a little bit so we have more room to play with and lift up the adhesive on the back a little bit be very careful with this part this is a kind of a delicate connector if you break the cable on the connector you're in for a lot more work okay now what we want to do is pull pull the cable backward to release the connector like so Okay, now it's released and the screen is out. So let's take a look at this screen. This is a pretty standard screen. Shouldn't have any trouble finding it. It's a 14 inch LED screen with the connector on the bottom left hand side. Let's take a look at the part number. Get a good focus. Okay, it's B140XW01. That's all you need to know. B140XW01. You can uh, type that into your search into Google or eBay and you'll most likely have a compatible screen that they'll ship you that looks exactly like this. The only other thing to keep track of is that the screen has a glossy finish, if yours has a glossy finish, if you're particular about that. And otherwise, it should be no problem. So uh, once you get your screen in, um, just reverse the procedure and do everything backward and put it back in and your laptop should be as good as new and uh, don't break it again. All right. Thank you very much. My name is Eugene Panarikovich. Name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com and I'm the laptop screen doc. All right. Thank you and good luck.